Okay. I have now pressed all the buttons, Sherry, and it looks like all the other buttons say it's working. So I'm going to believe it's working. It is Wednesday morning, April 28th. Wow. I cannot believe it. Eight, April 28th, 2021. And in case you didn't know it, this is episode number 33. Three, 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 three. Can you believe it? We have been doing this. This is our 33rd week doing this. How ironic it's 33. And my daughter today, she's turning 22. So we got Ooh. to a three, three. Happy, happy birthday to my daughter, Kara. That's my happy birthday, daughter. Kara. Yeah. And can you believe it? It's like you said, it's the 28th of April, man. We only got three days left in this month is gone. But yeah, I want to shout out and give a happy birthday to my oldest daughter, Kara Mariah. Yeah. Happy, happy birthday. But it's 3-3. Oh, three, three. Three. I can't believe our episode. Yes. Three. This is our 33rd episode. By the way, I want to welcome everyone. I am Terry Ann Porter, life coach, TA. Let's defeat those lies of negative self-talk by first changing your perspective. Once you change your perspective, you will start to notice some of those unseen possibilities that lay before you. That then opens up new pathways onto which you can choose to proceed in truth. My co-host is... Good morning. For those of you that don't know me, I am Sherry Berger, and I am the owner of Here to There Consulting. We educate business owners with those tools to help, to, those tools to balance business, life, and finances, so that we, our mission is to help you create the life and business that you deserve. So good morning. Good morning. Man, we were talking about the weather, Terry, and what is this weather going to do today? Oh my goodness. I don't know. I tell you what, but I do, I do enjoy stepping out on my deck, enjoying the nice breeze that's out there, even if it is warm, because I have some beautiful flowers out there. That's awesome. That's yeah, nice yeah. to have flowers out on your deck. My deck, my husband built a brand new deck uh, last year. So there you go. I mean, we had one, but he thought it needed expanded. So, but I have a swing out there. So there you go. Well, I did have a gazebo out there to make it enjoyable in all weather. Unfortunately, a few weeks ago when we had some really drastic wind and I'm, on top, of, it's a small hill, but this huge, massive metal gazebo that has been there for seven years, the wind picked it up, carried it over the house from the back deck over the house and planted it in my front yard. That's crazy. <laughs> you never so, know what the wind's going to do. You never know. <laughs> Carla is out here and she tried to say, I built a deck. I don't know how to build a deck. I promise you, I did not build <laughs> Carla's deck. Now, maybe my husband did and maybe I went and pulled nails out of wood, but I don't think that's building a deck. But you know, the neat thing about all this, we're talking about the flowers in the deck. It's springtime. And through the month of April, we have been talking about how to different ways to shower your business, your life, That's your mindset, nice. with mm -hmm. the idea of being April showers, what do they do? They bring May flowers. So we're going to talk about how are we blooming in May. So let's finish up April talking about showering ourselves. Now let's spring into action. Step into action. I'm sorry. Let's get the right words in here. Step into action. We've talked about the goals. We've talked about obstacles. We've talked about what we want to do, how to say yes, how to say no, when to say yes, when to say no. What action steps do you need to take right now to make your life or your business bloom? Any suggestions, Sherry? To make your life or your business bloom? Step into action. What kind of action steps? Hey, welcome, Pam. I see you made it. Yeah, she was having problems getting on. I was trying to help her get on. So I got a little distracted because I had her inboxing me saying, can't get on, which I don't understand how you can't get on our live. So that's another fun technology problem, maybe, Terry. I don't know. It's interesting. We need to deal with some technology. Part of bringing into action is to do what Terry Ann and I did. Guess what? 33 
episodes ago, we decided just to spring into action. 33 episodes later, we might still need to weed or what is it called? Fertilize some of this, right? And fix things like why somebody couldn't get on live today. I don't understand why they couldn't get on because we should go live automatically on conversation. And that's great. I see Linda. So I see people getting on. So that's nice to know. But isn't that interesting? I was wondering where everybody was, Terry Ann. And Pam was saying we couldn't get on. Not sure we're trying to get on it by clicking the messenger link. Oh, okay. Because I inboxed her to remind her. Oh, so I see. We oh. go straight to conversations with Sherry and Terry Ann. But some of our action steps, right? Right yes. now, everybody is planting flowers and garden. And I mean, it's fun. And I was talking about the weather yesterday. I don't know about you, Terry Ann, but everywhere I went or, you know, even on Zoom, whatever, everywhere, everybody was like, yeah, as soon as I get off here, I have to hurry up and do this before it rains. And then when I did my walk yesterday, seeing all my neighbors scurrying around before it rained, it was pretty funny. Now, if we would scurry around in our life and business before it rains, can you imagine what we could accomplish? By the way, Terry Ann and I checked in case you guys want a Kansas City weather report. It looks like it's not going to rain till like four, right? That, that That's what my weather app tells me. <laughs> but that's what your weather app tells you. With our business and our life, we don't always know when it's going to rain, do we? But we do know that if we fertilize, like you do your flowers, if we pull those weeds, well, I guess we'll talk about that more next, you know, and we get all our stuff in line. So we've worked really hard through April, right, to talk about, we talked about springing into action. We talked about those obstacles in your way and then when to say yes, when to say no. And now we're trying to talk about that we need to just take those steps. And sometimes that means you just do it scared or like, Terry Ann and I went live and we still, after 33 episodes, do we have everything figured out, Terry Ann? Oh, heavens no. And some days we have excitement like echoing and you just don't know, but we still go spring into action. So I think that's what we need to do with those steps is just what were your goals? What were your obstacles? And maybe we need to go back and re, you know reset a little bit. But this episode, we want to talk about springing into action. Just do it. I like the saying, and I've said it before to Terry Ann, and Terry Ann, I'm not sure if she likes it. Done beats perfect every time. Terry Ann always wants to get it perfect, but done beats perfect. I'm learning. I'm learning. <laughs> so. You know what? Speaking of that, my, my stepdaughter for Christmas gave me this plaque that's behind me. It says, you were born to be real, not to be perfect. Exactly. And you know what, Terry Ann? I love you because you're real and you're not perfect. <laughs> Oh, Nobody come on. I thought I had you fooled. <laughs> I want to Darn be a weather it. person. This is funny. Grace said, I want to be a weather person who could be wrong 95% of the time and still keep their job. <laughs> I know. That's why you guys are mad at weather reporters because they get paid even if they're wrong. But I'm sorry. <laughs> they do done beats perfect every time. Every so time. That's a right. Prediction of what the weather is. But who's really in charge of the weather, Terry? And the weatherman or... The man upstairs. I, right? I'm not in charge of all so that. I we can God only some, guess. I think God sometimes laughs and changes the weather on those weathermen on purpose. But I also I like love it. I love it if you go to different channels and you've gotten a little different weather report. I don't understand <laughs> that when that happens. It doesn't happen a lot, but I've seen it. I <laughs> love you, Allison. I love you, Allison. Terry Ann is perfect. She is. You know what? You know what Terry Ann is? She's perfectly imperfect. That's another one of my favorite sayings. That so. yes, that is that has definitely become popular. So so we can step into action and do things even if they're not going to be perfect. And even if we're scared. And even if we don't have it all figured out. Oh wow. How do you do that? I mean, you better have a plan, right? You need your goal, okay, you need your plan. plan. But how can you have it all figured out, Terry? And you've tried that before. How's that work? It doesn't work. It doesn't work. No, because you can't have it all figured out. Now, do we need to have a plan? Do we need to have a goal? Do we need to we realize what need obstacles? Do we need to maybe know what obstacles are coming in place? I have one of my best friends from college. You know what I love her about her? She always has a plan A, a plan B, a plan C, and a, maybe a plan D. But she's never going to stop. 
Now she has multiple master's degrees and she does all this. I mean, sometimes you wish you could be her. Ha ha ha. But my point is, <laughs> I always remember that, right? I'm like, oh, well, Kelly would have an A, a B, a C and a D. I mean, that's just what she does. And I think that might be a little overthinking it, so to speak. Oh, there's Debbie. Debbie Levy likes to hide from Texas, but not really. She's ornery like that. So anyways, that's my sister-in-law. So good morning. Good morning. Good to see you. And I like what you put. If you ain't at, if you aim at nothing, you hit every time. Yeah. So we need to have, we a goal. have to have I, our goals. We have to have our yes. goals. I'm not saying just throw spaghetti on the walls. I am not saying that. I am saying, have your goal, have your plan. And guess what? You should be wet, ready to pivot at any time. What has 2020 taught you? Oh, definitely. That things do not go as planned and you have to be willing to bend with the wind. I mean, I found it hilarious because back in 2019, I knew October. Remember way back then, back in the olden days? Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> but anyway, back in 2019, October, I knew I needed to go live. But Terri Ann, I don't like pictures of me. I don't like videos of me. I don't like, I don't like. And I knew I needed to go online because how am I going to make a bigger impact? Right? And I go out and help people make a difference in their business and their life. And I knew I needed to make a bigger impact. But I had all these excuses, but that's okay. Terry Ann seen me. I was every day just popping up on Can't Say Inspired Coffee with Sherry. And then I always tease and say, God has a good sense of humor because what happened March 2020? I didn't have a choice but to totally go on live. Thank God. Thank you, God, that from October to March, I got to practice mm -hmm. a little bit. Now, some days I didn't want to do it. <laughs> Right. I mean, that's how we always feel when we're trying something new, though. Right. And now what are we? How many days into the pandemic? Oh, I lost count a long time ago. I know. I tell people, has it been a year, 18 months, 20,000 years? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> but I mean, if you're not online, right, you're not doing those things. So, you know, what we'd like to hear from the audience is what are some of your guys's goals that you need to spring forward with and that you need to take action steps with. <clears throat> and let's add to that, what action steps are you taking? You know, I got to thinking, you were talking earlier about yesterday, people saying, oh, I got to get this done before the rain. Before the rain is like our deadline. Yes. Set but yourself a deadline. deadline. I work but great with deadlines. Give me a deadline, I will meet it every time. <laughs> yeah, but let's not wait till the rain decides that we have a no, deadline, no, no. right? Let's come up with our own deadline, right? Now, I don't like to wait until the deadline. I'm one who I would like to have it done well before the deadline. Mm -hmm. Because what happens if here's the deadline, it's got to go in, but at that last minute, I've just found some, some typos mm -hmm. or some new information to plan. So I always like to... I don't want to wait till that deadline, but that deadline does keep me going. Oh, Pam's cracking me up because she says she's going to set my worry time to stop distracting me on a daily basis. She told me that was at seven o'clock Thursday, and I told her we could come up with a different thing for her to do at <laughs> seven o'clock Thursday. <laughs> but it is pretty funny, right? When do you have time to worry? And yet, I like this. Now, th wait, now, that is interesting. You set a worry time. I will worry. What what is that? I will worry at this point for the next ten minutes, and then and then that's all the worry I get to do today. Is that how this works? Mm -hmm. I that's like that. Funny. Well, I mean, if you set a time to worry, and then you get to that time, it might not be appropriate at that time, right? That's too funny. I like that idea. <laughs> yeah, she was telling me that yesterday. I thought that was pretty funny. I thought it was a good one, right? Because sometimes we think we have time to worry. What were you talking about before she said that, though? Yes, Pam says yes. Um, you were talking about, oh, the action steps, right? Do you guys ever get overwhelmed trying to eat an elephant? I know. Whoever ate an elephant? Why do we always talk about eating an elephant? But if we want to eat an elephant, we have to do it one step at a time, one bite at a time. One bite at a time. And sometimes we go, like right now, I'm in the middle of writing a book. And we just go, oh, my gosh, where am I going? And currently I've been having a friend of mine help me with my worksheets for my book. And so when you put your worksheets together and you already got your chapters together, right? Cause that's how my book is going. It's starting to piece together. But when you get stuck, you get overwhelmed and then you can get somebody come alongside you and go, 
how about if we work on this right now and then we can get to that, right? So if you have a coach or a friend or a mentor or a cheerleader that helps you, right, along those mm -hmm. lines, then that's very, very important. Zig Ziglar says that you should treat every day like it's the day before your vacation. I know. Oh, how day. much you get done that day? <laughs> one day, one day. This was so funny because I don't know about you guys with business owners, but I have four kids. Well, one of them is much older. So he was grown and out of the house, but the three little ones were fixing to go on vacation. Fixing's not a good word. Man, <laughs> are but anyway, we were going to, we were going to go on vacation. So we're getting all ready. And so I am literally paying, giving kids money to help me get my ducks in a row before we go on vacation because they need spending money for vacation too, right? So my daughter is putting, I don't know, some kind of stuff in a in sleeves for me. I put a whole business plan or something together for a client that I was trying to get it all pretty for him. And so she's putting all the stuff in the sleeves and she looks at my dad and goes, yeah, mom got herself all behind. And so now she's making all of us kids help her get caught up. And I was like, I am so not behind and I don't want to come back from vacation being behind. So if anything, when I get back from vacation, I'm going to be way ahead. She didn't understand that. She was like, mom's making us all. And I said, hey, Kara, which is her birthday today. I'm telling a Kara story. I go, hey, because she's the oldest girl too. I go, hey, you don't have to do it. I'll pay somebody else. <laughs> you know? But yeah, so when you do that, and you were talking about deadlines, that's right. You said you always like yours early. How do you like this tax deadline? It's been moved around. I guess it's May 17th now. And a lot of people tell me they don't know, but I'm a business coach. I don't know coach. what it is because I did mine back in March. I know, but I'm a business coach, so I'm chasing clients. Ha, ha, ha. So I have to make sure I know this kind of stuff. But I always have done mine done March 15th. Because April 15th when it's done. And I will say this year, I probably got closer. I don't remember what day I got done, but it was after March 15th, but not a lot after March 15th. But I felt behind because March 15th is my deadline to have my taxes, you know, my annual taxes done because I know April 14th. And it doesn't mean you got to submit them. And then when you're doing quarterly, the same idea, right? When is your taxes due? But people don't. Yeah, if you make a, like, would you say typos, something I realized I could have written off because now you go talk to an accountant and you find out you should be doing, you know, all that stuff. No, mine's done and off my plate. I am not waiting till May. I even submitted it. I don't need that stress. <laughs> so what are some things that, that hinder you from taking a step of action that you know you need to take? <clears throat> I think that's always interesting. I know I need to do this. Um, maybe I don't want to. Uh, maybe I don't have the information. A lot of it is often just gumption. Um, let me bring up Pam's comment. She's got a big old comment there. It helps me to stay on task when overwhelming thoughts of my normal overthinking turns to worry. I can remind myself it's in my schedule for Thursday at 7 p.m. During that time, I focus on my worry thoughts, figure out if it is something I can control. Now, that's also very interesting. Can I control it or not? Is it under someone else's control and working tasks for things I can control? That's often a hard, um, big reminder. Maybe I have a deadline, but I can't meet it because I'm waiting for information. So what do I do? Sit here and worry and panic and not do anything? Or do I take other steps to complete other things that need to be done? Did she just say the serenity prayer? Terry Ann, that's what I heard. You know, I hadn't thought of it, but I, that, yeah, that is that. Because you've got so much control. going on in your life. And if you, whatever you're worrying about, if you can't do anything about it, you can schedule yourself a worry time. But maybe that worry time at seven o'clock on Thursday ought to be your prayer time. But here, here are the oh, things I'm that paralyze. Sure He's talking about your past traumas, but we These all These are things it. that paralyze, yes. Past oh, it trauma. Can paralyze you, yes. Uh, worrying causes things causing anxiety, um, fear, the of, fear doing of doing it wrong. wrong. Mm -hmm. These are all things that paralyze. And I understand this because that's what I do. 
all of a sudden it's I've done something wrong or it's not going to be right or, or it reminds me of something and I absolutely stop and and paralyze. So how do you get beyond that paralyzed moment? Because a lot of times just taking that one step can move you forward. But until you take that one step, you're stuck right there. So how do you, how that's do you do where that? you want you if you have great friends that will come alongside you or coaches or people to get you so-called unstuck. But I do want to say this, and I think Terry Ann has said it, but I just want to directly say this. You're not alone in being fearful of doing it wrong. You're not alone of having anxiety and scaredness. Because I hate to tell you, everybody gets that at some point in their life. Right? People look at big known actors or speakers or and they think that they don't get fear of doing it wrong and we all have those awful what do you want to call them records and i think uh angie was talking about anxiety or trauma from our past the mm -hmm. play right and we have to learn to deprogram them and i about your mindset and also realize that done means perfect and you know what terry and ann and i believe it or not might not do this perfect but there's only one Terry Ann and there's only one Sherry. So when you put us together, you get this, right? And my point is, if you don't do it, right? If I wasn't on here with Terry Ann, this show would be, or whatever you want to call this, this would be a different, different thing. Same if Terry Ann wasn't on here. So sometimes realizing that your gifts, your abilities, they need to be used in whatever manner that is right so that's something to think about i like this this is a, a lesson that i have been trying to remind myself quite often it's not wrong it's either right or it's a learning lesson yes on how to do it right so okay i screwed that one up we've had episodes where we've gotten off and said oh boy what was that one so we we talk afterward we say here's what we think we did wrong Here's what we can do to improve. And the next week we're back in here saying, okay, let's see if we can keep moving forward. I never thought that I would be sitting here in front of a camera 33 weeks in a row doing this. <laughs> Me neither. Even when we said we were going to do this, I thought, well, and somebody said, well, do you want to do whatever on Wednesday? And I said, no, I have to go live on Wednesday. And they go, you don't have to. And I go, okay, I have a commitment to go not live on Wednesday at 930 with a co co-coach with me. So I was like, I'm showing up. And that is part of it. We've made the commitment to each other because I tried to do this alone and it's real easy not to go ahead. And, but I made a commitment now. It's I, I'm working with Sherry. I, I owe her my time. So that's what it took to get me to do this. Making the commitment with somebody else committing to myself. Well, you know, I can, yeah, I don't feel like it today. I'm not going to do it. But, but that's, that's the same with going to a gym. Have you ever realized if you have a workout yes. partner, you'll show up? If you have a walk partner, you'll show up. So sometimes getting a partner, but I like what Linda said, thankful for grace. I guess when things don't go well. Mm -hmm. But I will give a shout out to Terry Ann because Terry Ann does something that I'm not brave enough to do. First of all, she knows a lot of technology, but you'll just push buttons till you figure it out. <laughs> Now, I worry That's about what it pushing, is. That's how you learn. <laughs> I worry about pushing buttons till I figure it out and ended up down a rabbit hole and none of my computer, or my phone, everything's going to shut down on me. <laughs> if you don't feel the fear, you're not expanding yourself or improving on something. So I press the buttons in fear <laughs> to learn. <laughs> I don't think you do it in fear. I think you do it in curiosity. Just let's be yes. real. <laughs> what does this button do? <laughs> It's amazing what it does. I have been helping people. I have been behind the scenes on Zoom for, for five years. I've been helping with an international uh, conference for several years. So I knew Zoom before all of this started. So once this started, I started showing people how to use Zoom. And now, even after doing it almost daily now for what, 15, 14, 15 months, whatever, I still find I left a meeting last night learn something new. I'm always learning. I, I just love to learn anyway. I guess maybe that's it. But I always walk away with just one little more tidbit of information. So when you're taking action, 
instead of being fearful, go, this is a great learning opportunity. I have a goal. Yes. I have a plan. And what happens if those flowers don't grow exactly right? You guys act like you haven't planted something and it hasn't died, but you learn from it. So you can restart, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, we do Toastmasters together and I've been doing Toastmasters a long time and people are terrified of public speaking. They think they're going to die. And I've done some bad public speaking and I've never died, Terri Ann. I'm just saying. You haven't? No. Oh, okay. I, might get, I might have maybe been a little embarrassed or a little whatever. But when is it, you know, when are times that you've learned from something that you thought you couldn't do? A lot of times I find that my biggest learning experience is when I stepped into action and I messed up. I didn't die. I messed up, but I learned and went on. Now, it's those days that I take that mess up and I go hide and I'm totally embarrassed and I paralyze. I'm never going to do it again. That's when I stop learning and experiencing. And so that um, what was it Pam said earlier about it becoming a learning experience. So take that learning experience and move on. Well, there's a saying that I like. I don't know if I'm going to say it exactly right, but people say do it like a three-year-old in a Batman costume, right? Oh, right? I love it. Right? If we're a superhero and we're three, we think we can do anything. And have you ever seen a three-year-old really give up? They might get frustrated, but if they really want to do something, they're going to do it. Mm -hmm. So we just need to look at it that way. I'm really, really excited for May because May is going to bring spring flowers. So I'd like everybody, what are we talking about next week, Terri Ann? Let me change my screen a little bit here. Okay. We're going to take all of our showering in April. And we're going to talk about blooming in May. Our next meeting is May 5th. How is your life or business blooming? The next week. How about the obstacles or the weeds in your business and life garden? Follow that with let's de-weed your garden and then reset after de-weeding. Let's bloom in our life, in our families, in our business. How can we bloom? And it takes all of the showering that we've done in April to make those blooms happen. So next week we're going to talk about, <laughs> next week we will talk about, I don't want to overwhelm everybody. So next week we're going to talk about how is your life or business blooming? Blooming. Yeah. Cause that's what we want to go into. We want to start blooming our life and business, just like we're doing it with the gardens and let's get them blooming and be ready for those rain and fertilizing and all the fun stuff along the way. Right. Mm -hmm. So I look forward to seeing everybody next week. And I am so, so glad that you guys were here today. And of course, you can always catch us on replays. Mm -mm. Have a good day, week. We will see you next Wednesday. Step into action. Let's get it done. Bye, guys. Bye. Mm -mm.